Did you know that you can edit a form once it's embedded on a website? Well, it is possible with JotForm. So let me show you how right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a form once it's been embedded on a website. Now, you do have to consider that you have to be logged in on Job Form to be able to edit these forms on an embedded website. So that means that your public won't be able to be able to view these editing features. Okay, so this is my Job Form dashboard, and what I want to do first is add one of the forms that I have here to a website, so you know how to add it and then how to edit it with the embed editing features. Okay. So first off, let's go ahead and go into templates and I'm going to use one of these templates to embed it on a website. I'll go into form card layout and I'll just go ahead and select this one right here. Let's just say that this is the one you like for your website and I'm going to use this template. And once we jump into the job form builder, we'll be able to customize this card form. Now be aware that if you have a form that is classic style, you can change it to a card form really easily. Just go into the form designer layout and in layout if you have classic form you can change it into a card form okay now to embed this on a website we're going to go into publish and in publish we're going to go into embed and we're going to grab this code right here so let's go ahead and copy this code and we're going to go into our website okay so this is one of my demo sites and we are going to add it to our website so we can later edit it from the website and not from top world, okay so let's go into pages and in this case, I have a Brizzy. So I'll just go ahead and edit the home page. I'll go to edit Brizzy. And I'll also show you how to embed it on Gutenberg. Okay. So I'm just going to open up the builder here. I'm going to add a section inside of here. So I'm going to go into my elements. Let's scroll down here and I'm going to add a short code. And I'm just going to add it right here for testing purposes. Okay. So I'm going to click on this section. I'm going to add my code that I just grabbed on job form. I am going to head on out of here. I'm going to update. And I'm going to go to the live section of this website. Okay. So let's go to the live website. Let me copy this link really quickly. Here we go. Here's the live website. We have our card form here that's going to load. And we have a little icon right here that's only going to be visible to you. So if you're logged into job form, you'll be able to view this pencil here. As I mentioned before, the public won't be able to view this. Okay. So I'm going to click on it right now. And now we have the embed designer options. So I have the options to change the form title and you'll see right here that's medium size. I'll change that to small and I'll be able to preview it live right here. The idea is to have your form embedded on the website and not imagine how it's going to look. So you have to, you don't have to go to job form and go ahead and edit over, over there and bring it inside to the live website. You can actually preview it here and change it as you go. So for example, if I want to change the form color options, Maybe I want to hit that yellow color that my site already has. Little orangey there. Here we go. And I'm able to test this. Now, in this case, I'm not going to go really in depth into this, but you get the idea. The background color. So, for example, I want to change it also to something orangey, a little bit more dark, so we can view it here. And you see how it's changing live as I move these options. There's also the options for the welcome and section page color options and the thank you page option. So that means that if I change the thank you page color here at the end, it's going to change. Okay. Now those are the basic settings there. There's also the options. We have the visible form elements that I can choose what I want to view or not view. So in this case, for example, show form title. If I don't want that to preview, I can remove it from here, show logo, show progress bar and so on and so forth. And you can change these as you go and save it. And it's going to update it on my form. Now, in this case, I am going to go ahead and reset this because I don't want to make changes, but it gives you the ideas of what you can do really easily here. Like, as I mentioned before, the idea is to edit this while you're on the site and not think about how it's going to look when you go ahead and edit it over there on job form and then bring it over to your website. Okay. Now that's a really easy way to add it here on a website. Now, I also want to show you how to add it on a Gutenberg system on the WordPress. Okay. So in this case, here's a Gutenberg site that I have right here. And I'm going to add the same code that I have over there inside of this. Okay. So right now in the pages section, I'm going to add a brand new page, but you can go ahead and add it in any section of the page. Okay. And I'm just going to say test. Here we go. And I'm going to add a block here. So I'm going to click on the plus button. And I'm going to choose custom HTML. And this is where I am going to paste my code. Okay. So here we go. I am going to publish this right here and I'm going to preview it. Okay. So let's go to view this page. 
And remember, there's nothing fancy going on on this page, but this form, okay? And again, as I mentioned before, we have the pencil button. So now I can go ahead and edit the details right here from the embed designer straight from the website and not having to go back into the job form builder. Now, what I want to do next is log out my job form account. So you can see that this button is not going to be available for the end user. Okay. So let me go ahead and log out really quickly. Go ahead and do so right now. Okay, let's go back into our website. Let's go ahead and refresh it. Here we go. And as you can see, we don't have the option to edit this form since we are logged out of job form. So end users won't preview this. Okay, now let me go ahead and log back into job form so I can show you how to embed this on the job form plugin. Okay, so let me go ahead and log back in. Give me a few seconds. Here we go. I logged in now. So I am going to go into my WordPress site. Now we're going to do this via a plugin to embed our card form. Okay, so let's go into plugins. We're going to select add new. Let's go ahead and select it. And this is going to enable us to search for the job form plugins. So let's give it a few seconds. Here we go. Let's search for job form. And in this case, I'm going to select this one job form online form. So I'm going to install this. I'm going to activate it. There we go. It's now active and we're going to go into pages and I'm going to add a brand new page for testing purposes. So let's add a new page. You can add this to a page that's already visible. Okay. So in this case, I am going to just add it here and I'll just say test two. And I am going to click on the plus button to add a block and in block. I am going to search for classic. Let's go ahead and select it. And you can see here, there's a new icon available. If I click on this icon, I am now able to select the form that I want to add into this page. Now, again, be aware that I am logged in to job form and that's why I'm able to view these forms. If not, I need to log in first. Okay. So again, I'll select the product order form that we've been using. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and publish it and test it out. Here we go. Now we have the form embedded on our website using the job form WordPress plugin. So there's several ways to add your forms to websites. Now, in this case, since I'm logged into job form again, I have the embed designer options available here. It's a super easy way to edit your forms in a live site. That way you have plenty of ways to make sure that the colors match the branding on your website or the style that you're looking for. So I hope you like this video. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about the embed designer at <clears throat> what you think about the embed designer options on a live site and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.